So, the brand new season is right around the corner, and a lot of people, seemingly including you, want to rank higher in this new season. You want to be placed higher, you want to enjoy your matches more, you want to become part of ELO heaven. And today, maybe I can help you guys just a little bit, and I guess reaching that goal. Now, with this said, as always, you know, general Overwatch tips, those are going to help you a lot. Getting better at the game, better your character. You know, you can't play way too much better in your placements than in your average games. However, today I'm going to tell you guys some tips that I've found for myself in the past that really do help in placement matches and make so that I win quite a few more of my placement match games. And tips that really do apply mainly to placement matches. And almost all of them apply pretty much just to placement matches. So, if you're open for, you know, general Overwatch tips, you might find a few but mainly I am focusing on these things. Now, I find I want to say this in this video because for the most part in placement match videos, people just talk about general tips, and that's mainly what I did in the past, and I want to try to fill my transgressions and actually talk about placement matches themselves, and again, stuff that you can do within those matches to help yourself win some more games. Now, this season, I feel like this is particularly good for the most of us because, including me, I'm really excited for this new season. Of course, for Season 4, I was, I was kind of excited, but Season 5, you know, nobody really liked way too much. I think we can all agree upon that, and I honestly didn't try way too much. But in this new season, I'm very excited to get into it. I'm excited to try to play Zen, to try to play Reaper, you know, to try to just play the characters I like to play. Maybe even McCree, you know, climb up the ladder, go on from there, get back to Masters where I was a few seasons ago, and then go all the way to Grandmaster, you know, as fast as possible. And I guess the way to start we got to say, is play some matches. So, let's just get straight on to the tips. I don't want to stall for any more time. Now, for the first thing I'm going to tell you guys, which is probably the most important thing to do in this new season, is to try to play your main as much as possible. But, prioritize making good team comps over playing your main. So, essentially, fill. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like to fill. I know that filling is looked down upon, kind of, by people that want to climb. And that one tricking is, in general, the best way to climb and to carry and to do all that crap in this game. However, I feel like placement matches is a little bit different. Placement matches seem to actually think about your wins and losses a lot more than the average game. And they seem to not really care as much about your stats as those wins and losses. So, what I'm going to say to you guys is that if you're filling, if you're making good team comps, making good team decisions, and maybe winning a few more games like that, but getting worse stats than your average game, you're probably going to place a little bit higher than if you were to, again, just only play that one character that you like to play. Now, this mainly applies to DPS players, you know, picking that fourth DPS because you main that DPS. I'd say maybe in these games, uh, switch off to support, switch off to tank. Now, if you're already playing support or tank, you can quite easily just keep playing those roles, you know? Nobody's really going to steal them for the most part, but sometimes they will. Sometimes you might find, you know, four supports in one game. That does happen quite often for some random reason, you know, the system trolls everyone, and if that does happen, just try to play your best DPS. Do the best you can, or maybe just play some of the easier DPSs. Just overall, I'm going to say, prioritize making good team comps, as they matter quite a bit um, in these placement games. Now, the second thing I'm going to tell you as well, that's probably almost just as important as the first thing, is to not really stress out about the place of matches. Now, I know a lot of people stress out in general about Overwatch rank, they're worried about ranking down, which you really shouldn't weigh too much because, you know, maybe your friends are going to call you out on it, but no one else is really going to care except for, I guess, yourself. But you really shouldn't stress out about these way too much. Of course, it is kind of disappointing when you get, you know, like one win to nine losses, and it just kind of sucks because you have placed way lower than you were last season, you just have to remember that you can quite easily climb up back to the rank where you were last season. If you actually did, you know, deserve that rank, you got up to that rank and you climbed up there, I'm pretty sure you can do it again and probably do it quite a bit faster as well with whatever characters you were using. It's a pretty obvious thing to say, but you should keep that in the back of your mind because a lot of people just are kind of afraid to get into these matches. They're kind of afraid to give it their all and, you know, it takes a lot of people a lot of time, but just don't really stress out. Just think of it as another match and maybe even if you want to, since this season seems, you know, at least from what the developer says, to not have placement matches matter nearly as much as previous seasons, you could just kind of not be afraid at all because you could think, you know, no matter how good or bad I'll do, you know, I'll place nearly the same rank. So that could also help you if you do happen to struggle a little bit with just stressing out over these matches. I guess time will tell if the developers actually did make, uh, you know, it the way that they told us in the, in the newest developer update, but we're going to have to wait and see with that. Now, the third thing I'm going to tell you guys is, at least in my own opinion, a pretty useful thing. Try to play all 10 of your placement matches in a row, if you are a person that doesn't rage. Now, if you are a person that does rage, what I'm going to say to you instead is play a game, play a game, play a game, until you lose, you know? Just essentially play until you lose, and then after you lose, wait a few hours, 
rinse, repeat, keep going like that, you know, win, 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 lose, wait a few hours, win, lose, wait a few hours, lose, wait a few hours, do stuff like that. Um, it'll just give you time for you to get rid of your rage, it'll give you time to just, you know, get it all out of your system, kind of forget the last game, and going from there. If you are a person that usually, usually rages, yeah, do that. However, if you're a person that doesn't rage way too badly and can usually accept games, then try to play all 10 in a row. Now, I feel like this can be pretty nice, as it essentially just makes so that you are extremely warmed up for all of your games. Um, as well with this, you know, if you find some people that you actually like to play with, you can also add them and play all 10 in a row. That's a really nice idea. And overall, it just makes so that you're more prepared from your previous games to play your next games. And you don't really have to start from scratch every single day. Like, if you play one placement match per day, you gotta start from scratch. You gotta start, you know, getting your aim back up, getting your game sense back up, all that stuff. While if you play it all in one day, you know, you just have the benefit of playing a ton in one day. And that's generally what you want to do whenever you're playing Overwatch. I know a lot of times you can't happen to get that. But, but in plays and matches, I feel like it's the one time when you should really try to do that of the most you can. And I feel like it actually is a pretty good idea to simply just wait a little bit and then do this instead of, you know, just immediately start the season and try to go for it. Now, the third thing, or I guess the fourth thing I want to say, uh, is to try to duo queue with a tank or support main, one of those two, even if they are a decent amount of SR below you. And this is the thing that um, I feel like does, I guess, generally apply to a lot of different players, not even just in place and matches, but place and matches, I guess, matters a bit more um, because mainly it'll make your team comps better in the time where most people will not switch at all. Placement matches, <laughs> I feel like people just never switch. They're going to play their best character. They're going to play high with that guy, whatever. And there's a lot of people, you know, this new season, I'm going to one trick Hanzo. I'm going to one trick Genji, whatever. And a lot of your comps are going to kind of suck. So if you can happen to get a nice placement match duo queue with a tank or a support main, it'll just make your comps better, make your communication better, and just make slightly easier games for you. You have to realize that when you are playing these brand new season to play some matches, you aren't the only one that's maybe a little bit worried, maybe a little bit anxious, anything like that. A lot of other people may be too, but if you can get rid of your anxiety with your teammate, then a lot of times you can just kind of cure some of your teammates' anxieties on um, some of your other ones, uh, some of the randos on your team, because you can just talk nicely to the teammate that you know, you can make out quite a bit of shot calls, and everyone will kind of just get used to you and go on from there, and, you know, a lot of the games will be a lot less stressful. Of course, you can play solo queue, you can try to rank up solo queue, and, you know, do whatever you want to solo queue, but I feel like if you do duo queue, especially with a tank or a support main, that will help you more. Now, if you are already a support main, I'd say duo queue with a tank main or a DPS main. Don't duo queue two support mains. I see this a lot of the time, and it's, it's never that great. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes okay, but if you find another support main, it really sucks for you. Um, but as far as duo queuing two tank mains, you could probably actually get away with that because there's so little tank mains that, yeah, you, you could you could probably play that and do decently well. And if you can't happen to do that, you know, just play someone like Lucio, someone like Mercy, and just keep going on from there. That might work as well. And my final tip for you guys, as far as today goes, and you know, the season six competitive tips, is to simply not play the day that season six comes out. Now, I know that that's kind of going to be hard for some of you guys. You are very excited for that new season, excited for the toxicity to go away, excited for, you know, all the new changes, the new hero changes, you know, everything. You're excited to see it all come out and to be able to play it. But I'd say again, from past experience and from just trying in every different season, don't play even all 10 games. I would say don't even play one game, but especially don't play all 10 games the day this season comes out. Mainly because you get the worst, most anxious players. It's very hectic. Nobody really communicates way too much. Everybody's trying out their new main. And a lot of the times you're going to get matched up in matches that are completely ridiculous. I've had matches where I matched up with a bronze player on my team and a grandmaster player on the other team and all being like mid-masters. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's completely garbage for the most part at the very beginning of the season. I'd say just wait a little bit. Um, even if, you know, everybody waited, we'd at least have a bit of time for people to calm down or whatever, especially since the season starts so close to the next season, or I guess to the last season, it's, it's going to be hectic. And a lot of people are going to be hoping that there's a lot of changes and everything. You know, I, I just wait, wait for the meta to evolve a little bit and probably just wait maybe two to three days. You don't have to wait an entire week. You don't have to wait an entire month. You don't want to do really anything like that, but just a few days that'll help you out. That'll make so that again, all the previous problems will go away. And mainly I'm going to say that, you know, after two or three days, that's when you want to put in all 10 games. Now, maybe you could happen to put in like one game for the first day and one game for the second day, just to kind of get used to how the meta's working, to how everyone's playing. You could do that if you wanted to, but I'd say probably save them all up for the last, but at least that's my own personal opinion. 
Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Again, this is just what I think, so if you think something different, please tell me, because I want to hear what a lot of other people do. This has worked for me in the past, and this has made me, you know, get at least diamond every single season as far as my placement goes, and once I almost got placed immediately into Masters, so that was pretty cool as well. Um, but we're going to have to wait and see how it works for me this season, and I guess wait and see how it works for you. Uh, essentially, in all previous seasons, you've been placed quite a bit below where you were supposed to be, except for from season 2 to 3, you were placed like 200 or 300 SR above where you used to be. Um, so we're gonna have to wait and see it might be jank it, it might be just completely busted But you know, it'll work out in the end and just don't really be way too afraid about getting into these matches Anyways, as always guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed if you learned anything leave a like I guess if you want to and again Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Anyways guys. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day